Hi guys, welcome to Tutor IMG's short medical series. We're going to be taking a look at uh, another psychiatric um, uh, diagnosis. And um, some of the most important questions are about somatic symptom disorder. Now, when you're faced with questions about somatic symptom disorder, the challenge is usually trying to figure out how to differentiate between somatic symptom disorder and some of the overlapping diagnoses, right? So one of the, um, one of the concerns that we have is the difference between somatic symptom disorder and delusional disorder of the somatic type. Both of these are concerned with symptoms that the patient doesn't have. Here, it's a lot about a physical symptom, whilst in delusional disorder, it's more about the thought, right, and its quality. You will notice that on the question, they will mention specifically that the patient spends a lot of time thinking that something is wrong. Whereas here, um, the question will describe more the symptom itself, perhaps, and most of the time it's going to be a pain-related symptom. This question on the boards will have undertones of depression because SSD usually ends up with a lot of overlapping features with depression as well. Reason being that patients often become frustrated with the idea but the doctor doesn't seem to believe them. Their depression is going to be linked with the worsening of their symptom. So watch out for that link and that description um, going hand in hand. On this hand, however, the more common relationship of a DDST patient is with a patient of schizophrenia. Most of the time, these patients end up having more psychotic features. Therefore, the resemblance with schizophrenia is quite pronounced. The psychotic feature ends up being hallucinations, right? So hallucinations being mentioned quite predominantly, um, you know, especially in reference to tactile hallucinations, will become more of a diagnostic feature for DDSD as compared to SSD on the boards. Now, another thing I want you to watch carefully for is the description of functionality. Functionality in SSD is impaired. The patient cannot function socially, tends to have given up a job because of the kind of preoccupation they seem to have with their symptoms. In this case, they do have quite a bit of preserved functionality. These patients, although when you talk to them, seem to have thought processing, which is very much concerned and uh, preoccupied with their delusion. However, they seem to hold down jobs. They seem to have a functional capacity to their life, which quite um, opposes the kind of presentation in SSD. Don't forget that the question might mention that they are socially withdrawn, which is fine and acceptable because these people are sort of ashamed um, about the fact that they have a certain condition, um, you know, physical condition, and um, that sort of socially hampers them. But do not mistake this social withdrawal for loss of functionality. Functionality usually means their ability to perform um, work, right? So here, these people usually they resign from work or um, take time off work, and that's going to be an important feature. For time duration, I want you to think of SSD as being something very, very long lasting, um, and the patient will probably be suffering from this over 15 to 20 years with um, uh, periodic fluctuations and flare ups. Um, in their thought processing. Age in these patients at the start of presentation is usually on the average 30 years. So SSD patients, you can expect them on the boards to be younger. DDSD patients, you can expect them to be a little more towards the middle to late um, age. Both these patients won't have insight, of course, right? Um, and the other thing about DDSD is the specific bizarre um, nature of the delusions. 
um, pertaining to DDST, although I know that we are very familiar with the idea that delusional disorders usually are about non-bizarre ideas, but in the somatoform kind of delusional disorder, the, um, the delusions are usually bizarre. For example, parasites taking over the body. Now, treatment in this uh, SSD usually is based on CBT, and then it goes on to antidepressants as the condition worsens. With DDST, if the condition is very predominant, you will start right away with antipsychotics. There is no mention or no real um, play here for CBT or any kind of psychotherapy. Patients don't respond too well to it. Well, hope this helps you on the boards. And for more such videos, please subscribe to the channel for all updates.